Scientists are warning that an outburst of solar storms could wreak havoc on Earth at any time in 2022. So what is a solar storm? When will a solar storm occur? This is a question many people are interested in. To answer, let's watch the video below. Solar storm warning in 2022. According to scientific research, a solar storm is an explosion of magnetic energy in the sun's atmosphere which causes a violent burst of light. They cannot be detected with the naked eye from the Earth's surface but can be observed through telescopes, space X-rays, and thermal imaging instruments. The amount of energy released by a solar storm can be equivalent to millions of 100 megatons hydrogen bombs exploding at once 10 million times greater than the energy released by a volcanic eruption. Usually lasting only a few minutes, the heat of a solar storm can impact materials up to millions of degrees and create a burst of radiation across the electromagnetic spectrum, which ranges from radio waves to X-rays and gamma rays. Solar storms occur when magnetic energy accumulated in the sun's atmosphere is suddenly released, mainly in active regions around sunspots. As large volumes of charged particles and plasma are ejected from the sun and blasted into space, the fast-moving clouds carry magnetized particles, which can cause severe damage to infrastructure. The internet is available on Earth. When it is built, it carries heat that can damage electronic repeaters and fiber optic cables that lead to the internet. This phenomenon causes the Earth to constantly suffer from raindrops of particles released from the sun. Even so, most of the electronics on the planet still work fine because the Earth's atmosphere acts as a shield to block out much of the harmful radiation and charged particles, limiting damage to infrastructure electronic. In 2022, it is wondered that there will be many solar storms occurring in a row, specifically on January 23rd and January 24th. NASA said a solar storm is heading toward Earth. If a solar storm is strong enough to disrupt Earth's magnetic field, it could cause significant damage to the electrical and electronic infrastructure on Earth and the satellites above. GPS, cell phones, and electricity are affected. Two geomagnetic storms generated by the sun's activity also reached Earth on March 14th and March 15th, but did not cause significant damage. According to the Space Weather Prediction Center, SWBC of the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, on March 30th, there will be a solar storm that will hit Earth at 3 million km per hour as they crash into the Earth's magnetic field will result in a G3-class geomagnetic storm. The storm formed from a sunspot on the sun's surface pointing directly towards Earth, creating auroras in many states in the US. Energy from the storm will be absorbed by the Earth's magnetic field, but large solar storms are still capable of causing damage. Hurricane G3 can disrupt satellite navigation and problems with low-frequency radio waves. On May 7, the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration NOAA also forecasted a weak solar storm that could pass over Earth, potentially leading to a minor radio blackout. Satellites and space equipment are the most vulnerable, but the effects of solar storms can also be felt on Earth. For example, the powerful solar storm of 1989 cut off the electricity supply to more than 6 million people for nearly 10 hours in Quebec and the surrounding area. It also caused the Toronto Stock Exchange to shut down for hours due to computer failure. 
all of this happened before the internet was ubiquitous, and the storm similar to today's could cause widespread power outages. Not only affect electrical equipment, but solar storms also affect people. It may affect the body fluid and the autonomic nervous system, affecting the heart rate and blood pressure of humans. When the solar storm is active, people with cardiovascular disease and blood pressure will have a higher rate of heart attack, high blood pressure, or stroke, causing mass death of animals, especially small animals and insects. To limit the risk caused by solar storms, everyone should eat a balanced diet, limit going outdoors, should prepare food, medicine, etc etc. to avoid power outages and prolonged dehydration, particularly for people with deal cardiovascular disease. It is necessary to prevent drugs, drink regularly, eat enough to promote health, avoid stimuli that negatively affect psychology. It can be said that the phenomenon of solar storms causes many great impacts on humans making it very difficult for scientists to predict the time of occurrence and the extent of the damage. If a solar storm hits Earth, it will completely destroy electronic system, causing human civil civilization to be set back. Today's video ends here. Hope this video will help you understand more about solar storms. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the article to support us. Goodbye and see you in the next videos.